Oh, huge old from Alec. He's gonna find four big Ooh, pulverize. Ooh, Ooh, nice. big shockwave. <laughs> huge combos from Kyle College. That one. Alec will throw the ult onto multiple people. But an uncontested in the back, they'll be taken out here by Earl. Kyle College, a little bit too tanky. You do find a copy early on, they'll be able to finish this fight up. How okay. Logan is still alive. He's our wild turtle. He's our Zion Spartan. Like, I didn't know his last name was pronounced Cly. I just thought it was Alex Alec. But, um,. Yeah, he's our star, our quiet star. Uh, I'm Alex Cly. I'm a sophomore here at CC, and I'm on the league esports team. Is it actually pronounced Cly? Yeah. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm intended to major in molecular biology. Alec, it's a uh, what I used to be called in elementary school is my nickname, mixed between Alex and Cly. That one of my friends came up with, so I just thought it was cool. Uh, I started playing League around probably ninth grade. One of my friends introduced it to me, and yeah, it was just fun. Started out with a trackpad and a crappy Mac computer, but yeah, it was fun. I think it's a pretty complicated game. There's lots of things to learn. It's really rewarding if you like play high skill cap champions and stuff like that. So typical day, go to school. Right now I have a wrist injury, so I go to PT and then to tennis practice, esports, and homework. I have one younger brother. His name is Patrick. And he goes to Haverford College. My dad used to be a pretty good tennis player when he was young, and he just always loved doing it. So that's how we were introduced. Usually I'm pretty calm, but also like League, every now and then I'll have an outburst um, just because I'm playing really badly or something like that, or I'm making dumb mistakes that I can control and that I'm messing up on. So I'm very competitive in tennis. I look very calm on the outside, but on the inside, I really want to win all the time. Last year in our final SCAC tennis match, uh, we are battling for third place against Austin College, and I was the last match to determine it, and I ended up just um, losing in the third set really badly. I just choked, I don't know what happened, but yeah, it cost my team the third place, and it felt pretty bad. I tilt, <laughs> yeah, kind of easily. I can keep it under control most of the time, but sometimes I, yeah. Even though I practice though, it's still really hard to maintain composure and in the league I just try to like be really calm because I know if I get emotional then I'll make stupid mistakes and stuff like that. I'm not a racket smasher, but I'm a racket thrower sometimes. I've broken some rackets accidentally, but yeah, those things cost a lot of money, so I can't afford to be smashing those all the time. <laughs> I'm not a keyboard smasher, that stuff is also expensive, so keep my composure there. I can't, I can't afford to damage anything in the lab either. So in sports like tennis and league, uh, the you versus yourself mentality I think is very uh, important and it's probably one of the biggest aspects like in league all the time. Uh, I know that I've lost a lot of games just because my uh, mental isn't strong enough and I know that I need to take a break. But when I do, you do start winning games back. It's uh, really is about mentality in tennis also. So. Okay, this, <laughs> this is an issue. So, everyone always tells me I wear too much tennis gear and stuff, but the fact is that I get it all for free, so there's no reason for me to waste money on other clothes. So that's why I have like seven tennis hoodies, so that's why I only wear tennis hoodies, because they're all free. Sorry, no reason? Yeah, no, no reason to waste money.